Wine Class Philippines. Welcome to Science 7. Today, we are going to study about unsaturated, saturated, and supersaturated solutions. Solutions are crucial to the process that sustains our lives and to many other processes that involve chemical reactions. When we digest food, for example, the nutrients must go into solution before they can pass through the walls of our intestines into our blood. There, they are carried throughout our bodies in solution. The air we breathe is a solution of nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases. Acid rain is a solution of oxide of sulfur in rain water. The dissolution of substances from the air and the earth is important in converting rock to soil. In altering the fertility of the soil and in changing the form of the earth's surface, many minerals are the result of reactions that have taken place in solution. There are various practical reasons for preparing solution. For example, most chemical reactions are run in solution. Also, solutions have particular properties that are useful. When gold is used for jewelry, it is mixed or alloyed with a small amount of silver. Gold-silver alloys are not only harder than pure gold, but they also melt at low temperature and are therefore easier to cast. The use of ethylene glycol as an automobile antifreeze depends on the same property. Water containing ethanol glycol freezes at temperatures below the freezing point of water. Let's talk about unsaturated solution. A solution that is capable of dissolving more solute at a given temperature than it already contains is known as unsaturated solution. Example, take one gram of crystal of sugar and dissolve it in 100 milliliter of water in a beaker. The result is an unsaturated solution because the solution has the capacity to dissolve more crystal of sugar at room temperature. Saturated solution. A solution that contains maximum amount of a solute in a given solvent at room temperature. No more solute can dissolve in it and there is a dynamic equilibrium between the undissolved and dissolved solute. This type of solution is called saturated solution. Example. In order to explain saturated solution, consider the following process of dissolving sodium chloride in water. Sodium chloride being an iconic compound dissolved in water, the sodium and chloride ions. If you could view the dissolving of sodium chloride at the level of ions, you would see a dynamic process. Suppose you steer 40 grams of sodium chloride crystal in 100 milliliters of water at 20 degrees Celsius. Sodium ions and chloride ions have the surface of the crystal and enter the solutions. The ions move about at random in the solution and may by chance collide with the crystal and stick, thus returning to the crystalline state as the sodium chloride continues to dissolve, more ions enter the solution and the rate of which they return to the crystalline state increases. Eventually, a dynamic equilibrium is reached in which the rate of ions that leave the crystals equal to the rate of which the ions return to crystal. At equilibrium, no more sodium chloride appears to dissolve. 36 grams has gone into solution, leaving 4 grams of crystal at the bottom of the vessels. Supersaturated solution. 
a solution that contains more dissolved substances than a saturated solution is called supersaturated solution. The solubility of sodium chloride is 36 grams per 100 ml at 20 degrees Celsius. When heating, more sodium chloride can be dissolved. You might expect that as the water solution is cooled, sodium chloride would crystallize out. In fact, the solution is slowly cooled at the room temperature. This does not occur. Instead, the result is a clear solution in which additional sodium chloride is dissolved 100 mg or milliliter of cold water. Such solutions are unstable in addition of a crystal of solute or steering or scratching the walls of a container. Thank you for listening. See you next time.